This one doesn't exactly look like the greatest thing on the face of the planet, but at the same time, it's amazing in ways I can't describe just by this title screen. <laughs> so we need to experience this. Welcome to Calico. <laughs> Thankfully, it plays with the controller. I'm very happy about that. New game. Enter name. Capital. Uh, are you really? Really? Oh, I see. Capital is an X. Okay, nice. I think we're a beautiful girl. I don't think we're a guy. I don't know. Here, we'll be, we'll be Dilly. I can't believe I'm starting my loot in life tomorrow. Ah, I have to pick something to... I'm assuming it meant where. Mushroom. Uh, is that Cthulhu in a fishbowl? <laughs> Tout knockout, thank you for the follow. Here's Cthulhu hoop, we need more Cthulhu. Um, unfortunately Cthulhu's not one of them, but... Oh no. Oh, I see how you pick the skin tone. That's interesting. There. Get her. She needs to be a, f a wonderful. Fine. Slightly ashen gray. <laughs> what is this cinch? Oh. We're gonna have non perfect proportions. We're not gonna be understood. No. Have the biggest padonk donk. I'm kind of surprised by the level of detail you can go into this. Your nose. I don't know what the nose does. Um. Thanks for the zoom in. Sure, we're gonna put the nose like this. We're gonna do that. We're so excited for cats. Face, blush. Yes. Oh God. <clears throat> um. Eyebrows. You know what? That's fine. We like those. Eyelashes. Long at the back. <laughs> Isaac would have a field day with this. Yes, he would. Eyeliner. Sure. Accessories. Okay, so your 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 character doesn't have a gender. It's based upon whatever the hell you give them. Okay, that's kind of nice because it allows you to have like a lot of customizability. Sparkle. How do I choose accessory two? Stars. Accessory three. <clears throat> she gets into fights. I hate the band-aid on the nose trope. I I really do. It's so overused. Eyes. Make them into hearts. Can we? Hearts. Eye shine. Sparkles. Lips. I'm straight. <laughs> Mouth. <laughs> eye base. What is this? Oh, the eye base is what? I'm so confused. How do I decide the color? I'm so confused. Why does she have a five o'clock shadow? She doesn't. That's just a shadow. That's literally just a shadow you're seeing. The hair. Oh, kawaii. Oh, so, so desu. I don't know what the words are. Yeah, ready to pound some woman. <laughs> oh, pity. I actually kind of like the hairstyle options. What? Oh, it's a little hood. It's cute. We're gonna have beautiful hair like this. 
No, no. How are we gonna be beautiful like that? We're gonna make fun of anyone with that kind of hair. Clothes. Top. Bottom. I'm I'm sorry. Do you have to like unlock clothing or something? <clears throat> okay. Hi, Carl. Uh oh, who the hell are you? You look like a bird. <clears throat> I figured this is a good game to start the day. And without having coffee just yet, it's really weird. I'm getting seeds in my mouth. <laughs> the smoothie, but the smoothie's delicious. Can I say I love my ninja? Oh my gosh, ah, hello. You don't have any color. <laughs> Welcome to Heart Village. I'm Kiva, the mayor of this village. Why does she sound like an Animal Crossing character? We are so excited to have you here. We are also sad to have your aunt retire and the cafe shut down. Honestly, the village just isn't the same without her. But she did send me a postcard last week, and it looks like she's really enjoying traveling. Apparently there are cats on other islands. Isn't that amazing? Oh, whoops. Of course you know all about that, having come from another island. You, you're dumb. Anywho, all that matters is that you are here now. First things first, why don't you look inside your new cafe? It's a little boring and empty right now, but that's up to you to fix. Why don't you go inside and check the place out? Come back and talk to me when you're done. Oh, jeez, wait. Even more first, I need, a gift. I need to gift you your welcome gift. Here's a couple things that will help you settle in. Oh, what the... Hey, friendo, did you check out the place? I love the layout and that star-shaped sky is so cool. It's a lot of work to do, though. It's completely empty of both people, animals, and food. There's a kitty. I actually brought you some furniture to help out. Embarrassing didn't know which kaiju would like best, so I ended up bringing a whole bunch. What would you say your style is? Rad! Oh, perfect. I have these items of that type. You should place them in the cafe when you get time. She has a very awkward movement, but at the same time, she actually has weight to her, which I kind of like. Potions? Furniture. Rad! Toys. Toy on a string. Mount. I'm sorry? Animals. No. Character. Oh! Oh. So you could change her at any time. Well, how... Oh, there's how you choose color. Hair. Clothes. Head. Top. I have a nice pink color. I must blend into this world, otherwise they will suspect me. Cheers. It will be nice and yellow. Yellows and so pretty. Pastels. That should be like the goth of the air of the neighborhood. Fuck you! Fuck ya! <laughs> How about I can do this? This is prettier. Oh, I need to change the other colors. Hold on. God. There was a lot to do, wasn't there, that I missed? Wait, how do I... Character. The... All the... Uh, the so the eyeliner, eyelashes, eyebrows, blush. Blush we didn't do. Eyeline we did... No, we don't need eyeline. Eyelash? No. Eyebrow? No. Accessory one. We need to make this pink. It looks like she has a beard, lol. Oh my god. Here, we're gonna give her we're gonna give her blue. Blue eyeshadow. Perfect. And then accessory too. Is that we're gonna make these hearts see perfect, pretty. Let's make a pitch pink or something. I don't know. Some of these colors are a little awkward to pick from, but they're not horrible. What's this? Oh, I didn't get a third accessory. I lips. 
There you go. This is beautiful. I'm making a legit character and not an abomination like Isaac would probably want me to make. Wait, hold to pet? You can pet the kitty! Pet the kitty! <laughs> you can! Pick her up! Welcome to my cat cafe. <laughs> Hi, we only serve the most delicious kitties here. Um, <laughs> furniture. Wait, what? What is this? What the fuck is this? Oh. Place select furniture. Furniture. Fur fur furniture. Where is my furniture? What is this? Hello, book. Oh, okay. Oh, recipes that I can't use yet. I have a refrigerator. Let me see what's upstairs. I do kind of like how the camera cuts away everything, though at the same time I kind of wish I could see it a little bit better, but no, this is actually pretty good. Save and sleep. You know what I feel like? I feel like this is gonna try and be a little bit like Animal Crossing mixed with the whole cat cafe minced to cats do. <laughs> we'll end up finding out. Go into the cafe, open your inventory, and select a piece of furniture to place it. Okay, inventory. That's not a rad table, that's a broken table. to make people want to be here. Look, it's gotta be perfect, okay? Look at this. How do you rotate? Rotate, ro Better than The Sims 4. <laughs> Get out of the way, cat! Okay, now you're inside of a chair. I'm actually slightly impressed with the overall look of this. Gas pussy. The kitty's stuck. I have trapped a kitty. Welcome to the cafe. place like furniture there we go why what what what's with this music mm, okay what's next cannibals your can always had a bunch of cute cuddly animals at the cafe honestly it's the best part of the whole thing why don't you look around and adopt an animal for the cafe normally you should avoid wild animals but the magic of this island has made them all super friendly and cuddly there's no danger here you pick up any animal use the animal to command them to follow you or go to the cafe your animal journal keeps track of all the animals you've met unless you give them names, summon them to your party, or give them hats. Give them hats. Just in case I'm lowering this a little bit. As much as I like the music, I am a little worried of just... There's a voice in it. Who knows if we're going to get a copyright. Look at that textures. You kind of wish for something to have solid colors rather than everything a mix of shades. I don't mind it, but I can understand it. Pick up an animal friend. Oh god! I, I'm running! Oh god! Where am I going? What is this? It's a special secret you're not allowed in. I like her run. She's like, 
She's like, she's, she's like, I'm so happy and peppy. Look at me run. And then it's just suddenly, oh God, we're going to have to have these problems in a bit when she starts running. <laughs> freaked out. You're adorable. Store you, my... I love this game. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, oh my god. <laughs> Throw it in the river. <laughs> oh my god, Callahan. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I have saved the kitty. What is the the, <laughs> the floppy bits? Would you like to pet this one? Would you like to pet this one? Would you like to pet it? <laughs> In the river. Done. Oh, the cat's going through me. Get out of the river. How do I make them part of my store? Store. Pick up an animal friend, then use the animal command menu to make them follow you. Go to the cafe. Control. I have no control. <laughs> I just, uh, the controls are a little wonky for this thing. Tiger! Tiger, tiger. This is your new home. Uh, what the fuck is this shit? This is Calico. This is the best new game ever, Dwin. Look what we could do. We could put a kitty on our head. And we could sit there and say, you are not worthy for this world. Oh no, kitty. <laughs> Holy shit. What was the last thing? I can't seem to recall. Oh, food, duh. Okay, so the other thing you need to learn is making food for the cafe. I can't have a cafe without cafe food and drinks. Your aunt left you a couple recipes, but it's not many. I'm sure if you talk to some other villagers, they may be able to share some family recipes with you in exchange for your help. But for now, why don't you head into the kitchen and try out one of those recipes? Sounds good. Oh, something else to note. This island is very much based in old magic. The way we do things is a bit different here. I think you'll really enjoy them cooking, though. It's pretty fun to throw an egg in the size of your whole body. Sorry, what? Oh, you'll see. Go try it out. Oh my god. Flower. I'm gonna make my own version of a cupcake. You fuck this. <laughs> Never mind. Flower. Flower. Sugar. Let's be one of those people. We're all like, we know what sugar is. Pick up the salt. <laughs> she reminds me of a spray can. Sugar. Also sugar. 
butter. Don't tell me how to fucking do this. Why can't I stay my normal size? Butter and one egg. Ugh! Put the finished food in the tray. There's a whole bag of salt in this one cupcake. I'm gonna walk across this. Oh god. Ow! 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 Okay. Does that mean I can put that tray out somewhere? There's a cupcake in the display case. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm so proud of you, you're a natural. I guess all that's left is to meet some of your neighbors. Once you've met someone, they will start coming to the cafe whenever they have free time in their schedule. When people visit your cafe, they'll buy the food you've made, and even when you aren't there, your magical food stock is infinite, so don't worry about making new food every day. However, the townsfolk all have different tastes. So to change up the food in your display case, they may tip you more for their favorites. Unfortunately, we've had some problems traveling to and from other areas of the island, which sucks. I haven't been able to get to the hot springs for months. Now I'm just dirty and smelly. Maybe one of the villagers has an idea on how to fix some of the blockades. Anyway, I hope we get the cafe back up and running. <clears throat> if you ever want to chat with me about it, you can find me or anyone else you've met on your map. See ya, friendo. We're open for business. Let's go get some more kitties. I want some more cats. Meet the townspeople to learn about the mountain path. Is that a bird? I have some cats that will eat you. I have new earrings, it's bird's feet. Wait, am I floating with this? Do I float with this bird? Hold on. Yes! <laughs> I'm gonna be the wicked witch of the island. I'm gonna kill everyone. I'm gonna murder everyone. I got a bird. Fuck the cats. I have a bird. Look at that. Look at that mountain over there. I feel like. Just the. Crows just all like, okay, sure. Hi. Mushroom. <laughs> Alpha Chenter, thank you for the follow. What what is this? Hello, I have a bird. Who the fuck are you? Pretty traveler, and welcome to my palatial emporium of potent potable, pourable, pourable, portable, pourable. God, potent potable, portable, pourable potions. I'm Potum. Autumn. I'm Autumn. So, sorry, I don't have any potions available right now. My cat Char is missing. I have no idea where she is. And the worry's got me totally behind. I'm making potions. Don't worry. When I find her, she will be mine and in my cafe. Does she have a calico features? <clears throat> she does. And she worries me for it. This is my world. Go away, bird! Oh. Apparently, I don't need the bird. How am I gonna know? Where's the map? Oh, jeez. It's a star-based island. This is like cutesy girl the girly girl simulator. And yet, there's something very endearing about it. I currently don't hate the look and the feel of this. I actually find it's really cute. <clears throat> Would I play it hardcore? No. <laughs> but this does feel more like, like I said, it'd be more of an Animal Crossing thing. Pick up once the blue moon kind of thing. Oh, um, hello. You must be the new cafe owner. Kiva offered to let me take care of the cafe, but it turns out cats are very different from flowers. They both require a lot of love, but cats don't like getting watered. <clears throat> oh, my name's Blossom, by the way. It's nice to meet you. If you ever want to plant your roots and soak up some sun, you can visit the garden Sunny and I share on the hill. What garden? Let me into your house. Oh, this one? 
Garden shit. There's a kitty up there. <clears throat> Hello. Oh my gosh, are you the new cat cafe owner? I've been so excited to meet you. This is my best day ever. My name's Maribel, and I own the fashion store town. Oh my god, clothes. You should come by and see my clothes. You would look amazing in them. You already look amazing. I love your outfit, but you can always have more. Us. Us. Shop. Jean. What is this? A tail. No. Cat ears. No. Zip hoodie. No. Cupped. Give me something cute. None of these are cute. Wait, I just bought it. Where is it? <coughs> Where is it? I just bought it. Oh my, what do we have here? A new customer? Or should I say a new neighbor? You're the one that took over the old cat cafe, are you? I always admire the industrious spirit. I'm sure we'll get along famously. Please have a look around my store. You'll need to furnish that cafe if you want customers. Okay, so this is a furniture store. Oh my god. Cute wall deco. These are kind of cute. These are adorable. I'm going to go upstairs. It won't let me. The music ended. I want to get up there. Oh, she naturally glides a little bit, but... <clears throat> I think... Oh. Who are you? Fuck up. <laughs> Go to the cafe, you angry thing. Oh, it's Char. You're coming with me. We're gonna go take you up to... Oh, I get it. She lives inside a potion bottle. Ha! Huh? <laughs> mm. Smoothie from I made this morning is so good. I think my only point of contention with smoothies, especially with the berry ones, is all the seeds in them. But it's fine. Yeah, so I won't I woke up really, really late today. <clears throat> and so I was rushing around trying to make sure everything started on time. And um I had to do dishes and clean in the kitchen and everything, so I didn't have really any time to make us any eggs or anything for breakfast like I have been doing. So I just made us uh <clears throat> <clears throat> a berry smoothie and it's um mixed frozen berries with uh a bit of low-fat vanilla yogurt and um a bunch of orange juice give it the liquidiness um i've made two of them prior and they came out good this one is the better one and it's also uh has more orange juice in it so i think more orange juice is the key, which essentially is more sugar too but it's not a big deal because it's just it's still really good and then i had a handful of almonds so it's probably the healthiest thing I've eaten in a while. <clears throat> Greetings, Traveler. You should really get the Path of Mountains open. This is your cat. Literally, this is Char. Found Char for you. What's for sale? She just magically gives me... Turns a bird into a griffin, or at least that was the plan. It's not quite perfect. Only works on birds. I'm sorry, what? Oh my god, magic. <clears throat> Dye your hair and make your eyes glow. Take a break potion. Stop or start the clock. Dreamer potion. Change animal to sparkling night version of itself. Magic hair. Turn hair into colorful cosmic void. Double time, make the clock run faster or return to normal. Witch toy, set loose to fly around curious animals. <gasps> oh, it's a toy. Start or stop rain. I can have magic? Oh my god, death. I gotta be a witch. Come here. You're my new toy. Let's go. Beautiful. I want to make potions. 
<clears throat> I really need witch brook to come out. I need to be have like a witch simulator. I think it'd be fun. Oh. Hello. Hold the wiggle. This is what Hizik does with Bodhi. He holds him upside down. He's like, he's being a problem. <laughs> Animal. Go to the cafe. Go. What's your name? Your name's Chomp. Hi, Chomp. Go to the fucking cafe. We have four cats at the cafe. She has a bird on her head and uses it to fly. Yes, it's Zelda. What are your what's your problem? If you don't question Link with it, why do you question her? <clears throat> do you belong to anyone? Oh my god. You are so fluffy. Go to the cafe. Hi, I'm Sunny. Blossom and I are so excited about the cat cafe reopening. It's where we first met. I thought about running the cafe myself, but that would have spoiled the magic for me. Besides, I'd rather run the boardwalk arcade. Do you think if I get that hard score on every machine, I legally own the place? No. no. Not how that works. <laughs> the panicked run. Oh, the water in the background's a little awkward looking. Hello. Yeah, always cool to see a fresh face around here. I'm Ash. I um, work at the general store, I guess. I'm Estelle's assistant. I don't always get her, but I've learned more magic from her than I ever did in magic school, so this job isn't the worst. Am I holding this rabbit? Oh no. Oh, you can't get down there unless you get rid of the roadblock. Wow. Stolen her rabbit. <clears throat> Stolen her rabbit. Stanford the bunny is at the cafe. <clears throat> Go to the cafe. I'm just enslaving all the animals. What? <laughs> meow, 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 meow. What's for sale? I feel like this is red. <laughs> you know, from Animal Crossing. Press toy to equip or unequip. Toe bean table. Citrus carpet. Cat potion. Turn yourself into a cat. <gasps> I want that. It's 1200. Oh, wait, did I make money? No, I didn't. Okay, she doesn't float on her own. I think there's something here. How big is this island? Map. Where? Oh god. No, we've actually seen most of it already. So it's it's got a lot on it for the most part. Hello there, my name's Maya, vice president of the Owl Club at your service. Oh, but I'm sorry, the vice president of nothing right now. There was a landslide that blocked the path into the mountains. If we can't go to the mountains, that means we can't go to the Owl Club headquarters. If we can't go to the Owl Club headquarters, that means you can't meet Freya. She's the president of the Owl Club and the president of my heart. I'm in a real pickle of beans right now, is what I'm saying. Pickle of beans? I don't know if Kiva mentioned this to you, but there's a landslide at the entrance of Snowbean Mountains. It's such a bummer. Can I help? Oh my gosh, that would be amazing. I have no idea how you can help, but if you find a way through, I promise you could be a prestigious member of our Owl Club. 
I've asked everyone in town to help, but no one could except for Autumn. I haven't asked her yet. She lives in the bottle at the top of the hill next to her cafe. It's really, really high up, and I'm scared to fight. I know that seems weird for an owl-based magical girl, but I can't actually fly. So what? This is an entire island of magical girls? So we're all doomed to die or something? Is that what it is? Because, I'm sorry, anime ruined magical girls for everyone. You're a dog! Go to the cafe. No, follow me. Go. Doggo! Yeah, the dog's actually kind of cute. <laughs> I was gonna be all like, no dogs allowed, but then I was like, no, you're kind of adorable. Okay, look, the, the... I feel like some of the assets need to be reevaluated and put down on the ground because all the flowers are floating above the surface of the grass. And I feel like that needs to be fixed. I have no idea how long. I'm pretty sure this is still early access. I'm not even certain on that one. You know what? Before I say anything, let's find out. It's not early access. It's gonna be like, oh no. It's not early access. Oh no. <laughs> it came out December 15th, 2020. Um... And it's eleven ninety nine on Steam. <laughs> this is a very particular game to want for eleven ninety nine. I will say that there are other games on Steam that have a lot less quality and don't feel as good even with moving around the environment. She definitely feels like she moves good and I feel like that's an accomplishment in and of itself for a lot of games. Because a lot of the uh, a lot of the indie games that don't seem like they actually put any effort into their game quality, uh, one of the biggest issues I usually notice is just the way the character feels when moving them around the environment. She actually feels really good to move. Yeah, no, the price is not great for what this is, looks like it is. But I mean, we're only seeing the surface of it, so I can't really judge that. Like, I can't say if the content and the qual if the content's enough for it. I don't know how long someone would want to play it. But this is the, definitely the kind of game you would want to give to a kid if you wanted something that was lighter, cuter. Um, and a little less... Oh, I don't know. A little less on the violent type side, I guess, if you could say. My only, my only major criticism would be for it is... I like the art style. I think it's adorable. I like the look of everything. I think it's adorable. It is very pastel. I get that. And that's fine. Um, it seems like you need to be a magical girl of some sort. I kind of wish that they would just allow you to be either a boy or a girl or whatever the heck you'd want. Um, because I think it would give a little bit more options. And it would give a little bit of a better feel. Kind of like the original Rainbow Bright in a way where you had like... The kids around the the Rainbow Bright Island type thing. It kind of has that kind of feel to it. Good morning, Slaughter Daughter. We're going to save and sleep. We're going to see what happens when we go to the next day. I have a bunny rabbit here. All these kitties. And then this bird. I'm a little worried about a bird that's just randomly here, but whatever. <clears throat> here, let's make some more food. Make some coffee. Put the ingredients. Coffee bean. Do you ever need to buy ingredients? Like, if there's no mechanic on managing your... your ingredients, I feel like that's a missed opportunity. And it doesn't look like there is. You have everything off the belt. Off the bat. I feel like your kitchen should have been more sparse and you'd have to upgrade it or something. Like, I'm fine with the few recipes you have, but I really wish the game was all like, oh yeah, you really need to, uh, better manage what you have on hand. Okay, so you have only six slots. Here, we're gonna make a macaron. Flour. Like, there's definite ways they could have improved on this. A grocery store in the town 
and giving you the bare minimal stuff that you would need to make, plus having an actual inventory on how much is in the kitchen, would cause you to have to balance what you're selling with um, having to go into town to buy more stuff. And as, as much as this game would want to be like, oh, it's just cutesy and it's very simple and you make something and you just put it out and it's for sale. Um, I'm fine with stuff magically selling itself, especially if they had a cat that was sitting behind the counter on a stool next to a register and it was like the cat sold everything for you. I think that would give it a little bit more whimsy and charm. Um, but forcing you to have to go grocery shopping, or even getting a cat that you could train to go grocery shopping for you instead of you, I think would be a nice little addition. Basically just the resource management of stuff. And I have a feeling this game is never going to get that level. And I think that kind of would hold it back. I mean, otherwise, everything you can do in the game, as far as, like... Busting out a toy to play with them, uh, being able to just pit, hold a button down to pet the animals, uh, being able to pick them up, put them on your head, mount them, which I still haven't tried. Come here, little dog. You're really tiny. Let me get my fat ass on you. You can't. <laughs> like, I think it would add a lot. something behind the waterfall. Of course there is. Although I do appreciate the way this is done. What is this? Chop. It's more it's furniture. That's kind of cute. So you have to find you find the different shops and you can Oh, cute display case. Buy it. Muffin recipe. Montago. So, I guess they don't get new rest. I'm assuming that the people in town eventually get new things. <clears throat> like, she wants us to find a way around that. So we've run around very haphazardly. Ah. Does everyone always sit at the bottom? Oh, they have different places they stand. I wish they wandered at least near their area or something, so you'd have to find them. But then again, it might drive you nuts. Consider the way this place is laid out. I don't think it's horrible. Not the layout. Um, where are all these people? Hey. Hey, friendo. How are you doing? Find Autumn and ask her about clearing the path. Need anything? We should really get the path to the mountains open up so everyone in town can visit their friends there. You mean the one girl? Fine. We'll go talk to Potion Chick. She better not be, oh, I can do that. Or, here's a potion. I'm like, give me a little bit something that you have to work towards. Because right now, I just fill up the cafe with all the, everything I have available, and people just go there. That's my assumption. I have 150, whatever the money currency is. My smoothie's gone. It makes me sad. I want more smoothie. Beautiful. Just run up this mountain. It's fine. Just, it's so just hard work getting up this mountain. Oh, God. <clears throat> There's no shortcuts. You can't jump up it. Hey. Greetings, Traveler. Lost cat? Wow, that'd be incredible. I have a feeling she might be near the center of town. Last time she went missing, I found her in a pile of clothing at the clothing store. She wasn't there when I checked earlier, but it's probably a good place to start. I already found your cat. <sighs> Need anything? We just should get the path to the mountains opened up. Was 
this run cycle. So she starts off really slow, and then she sort of like jogs a little bit, and then she runs like his, her life depends on it. Like she's screaming. And then she jumps off mountains, and she's fine. Magical girl. Ugh. Okay, I've definitely found flaws, and now I'm annoyed, because everyone in town is all like, we really should talk to Autumn. What is going on there? Oh my god. Get giant kitty out. Giant kitty, come here. Giant kitty, I need you. I need you in my life. How do I pick you up? How do I help you? I must help giant kitty. I think it's dead. Well, okay. <clears throat> All right. How do we get down over there? Um, we'd have to go up north and go around, potentially, to that path. But I think it's blocked to us. Can I talk to Autumn and get her to go after? Because I already found her cat. That ragdoll cat phasing through the log. Yeah, it's... My, my, uh... My more positive statements of the game are slowly dwindling as I see some of the problems. Though I think the giant cat is hysterical and amazing. <laughs> uh, panic run, panic run. Hey, there's a giant cat down there also. Will you open up the mountains or do I need to find your cat that I already found and brought to you? I even shoved the cat in your face and said, look what I found. Give me. She even was all like, I can't make potions until I find my cat. Now she makes potions. Tasty to totamaj. Thank you for the fo follow. <coughs> oh my god. Excuse me. Alright, let's see if we can find... <coughs> I'm fine with the... With the no fall damage. Because I know that this kind of game is that kind of game for that. It doesn't bother me. Um. <laughs> oh, who are you? Oh my god, it's an actual guy. Now look who it is. It's been so long since I've seen you. Why, you've grown up from a sprout to a sunflower. We've never met before, have we? Oh, thank goodness. I had thought I had just forgotten. Dumbs! Thank you for the resub! Oh my god, 23 months. You're almost at two years. Holy shit! Thank you for the resub! My name's Poppy. I run the flower shop along with my daughter, Lily. You can never have too many flowers. You can. You there, you look like a person who appreciates a good flower, and we appreciate people that appreciate good flowers, because good flowers is what we've got. Err, uh, I don't get to practice my sales pitch to new people very often, but you get the idea. I'm Lily, I help my pops run the flower store. We have a flower store. No one in town wants to buy flowers. Please help us, we're dying. <laughs> Is her cat back here, or did I permanently break it because I found her kitty? I think it's permanently broken. I found her kitty, and it's just, Char is no longer there. Wait a minute. There's Char. 
Hey, friendo, how are you? Oh my god! <clears throat> so Char was at my cafe. Let's put Char in my party and go back to her. Ugh. I like how the dog is just stuck. The dog's being good and running on the path. Why don't you react to this? Why don't you react to this? Oh, is this your reaction to the toy? Okay, let's go. <laughs> Panic run. Panic run. Oh my god. Come here. I need to be able to fly when I get down that mountain this time. Let's go. <laughs> Panic run! I like how my party consists of Char the cat and the dog. Can I just... Hold on. Hudgens. Chompy. All of you, follow me. Go. <clears throat> we have all these animals following us. Perfect. We have a bird just sitting on our head going, why am I doing this? the magic of the island it means we can enslave every animal they're not our friends they're our slaves greeting traveler Bring Char back to Autumn. You can't actually give Char to Autumn until you get the quest. <clears throat> Is this your Char? I can't believe you found my Char so quickly. How can I ever repay you? Help with Landside? Help with Landside? Um, that's a hard one. It would be great to be able to go back to the mountain since one of my biggest customers is there. Lumi up at Snowbell Hot Springs always commissions potions for me for her herbal bath. I don't really make potions that blow up rocks, though. Let me think about this a bit. I got it. Come back tomorrow and I should have something ready for you. Are you kidding me? I have nothing in my life. Come back tomorrow. Internal screaming ensues. Wait, where am I going? Where's my house? Fuck is my home to my left. It's over here somewhere. <clears throat> there it is. God. I want to know how we deal with the landslide. But at the same time, my, my interest is waning. I will say the music's adorable, and I do like the little song, even though I'm not really paying too much attention to it, but I do I do think it's charming. Um, can we make money? Someone make- some, one of you fucking go out and sell. Otherwise you're out in the street. Okay, how do I change my outfit? Can I do it here? Character. Top. I literally bought a top. It's an outerwear, that's why. <sighs> yes. 
You could find a red panda? Of course you can. It's a new day. Come on. Come on. This game needs to be five dollars. <laughs> I would say this game I would say this game would be worth it if it was like five dollars, not eleven ninety nine. Like as it feels, eleven ninety nine is pretty steep for what it's offering. <clears throat> Like it's um Yeah. I would I could get behind the eleven ninety nine if we have the resource management going on with the cafe. I'd be all like, oh, so there's interest in keeping your cafe up and running. But so far, nothing's selling. <laughs> Literally bought some stuff and I'm like, something in the cafe will sell and be able to make us money, right? No. Hello. Greetings, Traveler. How goes the potion? So sleepy. I stayed up all night tinkering around with this potion. You have to spend a lot of time getting a potion right before you use it. It's a shame if you don't test it enough and let's say you turn yourself into a half cat forever like she is. Well, that's what happens. I mean, I really like being half cat, but still. Sorry, what was I saying? Oh yes, potion. Presenting the first ever Bigify potion. Use this on any animal to make them huge. Oh, but it won't work on birds. Mixing flying and magic is tricky. How will that help with the landslide? Oh, oh, whoops. Uh, I mean, this potion is perfect. The potion made Kitty big and strong. Big and strong enough to blow right through those rocks. I mean, I think that'll work. Try it out. All my potions are reversible, so just use them on the animals or yourself a second time to undo the effects. Go to the cafe. Shut up. You. How do I use it? Yes! Look at the punchy kitty! Putters! <laughs> Pudgy kitty. Pudgy kitty. <laughs> Speed. Oh, so there's three different speeds. Uh, okay, I'm going the right way. Follow this road. Can you use it on the big kitty stuck in the tree? Um... I don't know. You could try, but I don't... <clears throat> <clears throat> what happens if Big Kitty in the tree becomes even bigger kitty? Let's find out. It's a permanent potion. Apparently once you have a potion, you have a permanent version of it. There it is. Big Kitty should be over here. Is Big Kitty not existing anymore? I don't think Big Kitty exists. Oh wait, there's Big Kitty. No. Pick up. <laughs> uh, ragdoll. Yeah, the cats go ragdoll when he picks them up. It's a little ridiculous, but it's funny. <laughs> they did a really good job on the animations overall, like I said. And movement of the... 
the creatures and y the movement of the characters, all of the character movement feels really good. That is that is definitely one of the, high, the one of the highest praises I can give about this game. Animations are good and the character movement is good. Even with the ragdolls, even though it's like the cheap ass ragdoll animation at this point, it's still decent. Really, kitty? <laughs> what the fuck is this? Get it. What are you? Go to the cafe. <laughs> Wait, can I get down here now, even though it's blocked elsewhere? No. It's, it's blocked everywhere. What is what is that animal? Oh, it's a snow deer. You know what these... You know what these faces remind me of? Have you guys seen the Netflix original cartoon, Hilda? These remind me of, like... Of Hilda. Like, the act all the animation and the style. Like, these faces. Also, if you have not seen Hilda, you need to do yourself a favor and see Hilda. I need to I need to watch more of season two. Um, I was so ecstatic when I found out season two had come out. I love Hilda. It's just it's it's not a it, it's just there's something about its its story, its overall style, and its temperament that's so adorable. Yeah, her little um, deer dog. I forget what the heck you call it. You go to the cafe. <gasps> snow wolf. Is that a snow wolf? No, he says a snow husky. Come here. Come here. Come here. Go to the cafe. We don't need a polar bear. Oh, who am I kidding? Here. Take the mother polar bear and have the others fend for itself. You. Say goodbye to your children. You are now my slave. Go to the cafe. All of you two better learn to survive or you're going to starve. Oh, I just made 200 because the fat one just bought a cake. Twig the deer. Yeah, Twig! Twig the deer fox. Thank you. Not a deer. Not a, like a deer dog. No, yeah, his dog. Deer fox. Thank you. Uh, yes, Twig. I love Twig. Twig's adorable. I need more Twig in that show. And I feel like Twig is not in the show enough. <laughs> wow, Dilly, what? Teaching them baby, like, polar bears how to survive on their own. Magic will keep them alive. Despite their pain and suffering from starving. Oh my god, it actually hops like a bunny. What is this giant bunny rabbit? Oh my god, he actually jumps like a bunny. Is this your dog? Fine now. Welcome, welcome, coming for the cold. I'm Luby, and this is my onsen. Perfect place to revitalize your body and mind. You must be the one that cleared the path from the heart village. I can't thank you enough. You and your animals can use the onsen anytime you want, free of charge. Thanks. Do you have a roof? You do, and yet it's still snowing. It's one of my biggest complaints about indie titles. Oh my god, capybaras. Go to the cafe. You're mine. Mushroom. Oh my god. Capybaras. I don't see Shay on. Thank you for the follow. She's just like, okay. Considering you don't have a meet a stamina meter or anything, what's the point in using this? Like, for a second, I was all like, oh my god, we'd have access to a, a hot springs. It'll help us do nothing. Okay. 
Guys. <gasps> Where'd you come from? Who are you? Oh, you're a tiger. Tiger, come here. <coughs> Go to the cafe. Yay, massive bunny. I know, seriously. Oh, the giant bell. Um, hey. What did I say? Go to the cafe. Cafe's full. Follow me then. Oh my god, to your death. Oh no. What's with this jagged edge? I don't know if that was intentional or not, but it looks really awkward. Okay, so you have to fix the bridge. So having to fi- oh no. Why are you floating? There's definitely problems. There's, there's a, there's a slight lack of uh, de attention to detail in placing objects in the environment. Wonder what that is. I don't know if we'll ever... Oh, we will find out. Maybe that's ours. I think that's our cafe. I think the plume of smoke is just our cafe. It looks like it. We made 650 by just doing nothing. But we have a polar bear sitting in the yard. Do we... No one invited uh -huh. you. No one invited you. Fuck out of here. Uh -huh. Don't get angry at me. Get out of here. <laughs> Everything's falling into the water. Well, this has been Calico Cafe. I think I'm done. It's cute. It's adorable. I don't necessarily think it's worth the eleven ninety nine. It definitely has some things that could make it a lot better, but it's not bad. And the movement control scheme is is good. And I do kind of like the art style, even if it is a uh, very pastel and light and everything. I still kind of like it. It fits its nature. Um. But yeah, we're gonna uh, move on and play something else.